Hey guys, welcome back to Wobble Mechanics. In today's video, guys, we'll be putting together here a Kia Forte 1.8 engine, the same one that is used in a Wander Kia, you know. Uh, they're known for that uh, uh, for that engine knock, and uh, the same engine is being used in a Kia Forte as well. Kia Soul, uh, it's either the 1.8 or 2.0, and ours is the 1.8. We had, a, uh, we had a piston slab on ours, so we had to have the cylinder walk bored out, and we will put oversized pistons to correct that. And uh, in today's video, we'll show you what the torque specs will be for the crankshaft uh, boat. Uh, so stay with us, we'll show you that. We have more than 200 videos for that car, so please subscribe, follow us, guys, give a like, and many more videos to come. So we have the bottom halves lubricated already of the bearings, uh, the side bearing there as well. Okay, you can see on both sides, everything should be like super, super clean, like pharmacy clean. So now we are ready to go ahead and get the crankshaft and place it, uh, uh, place it where it's supposed to be now. Okay, on top of the, on top of the box, we're we're going to lubricate. All the spots where there is a bearing lubricated really really good. Not to have a dry spot. Okay, that's the rear main seal there, pretty big one. So if you want you can replace that one as well. Now that will be the time to do that instead of taking your engine apart again. So you have to make sure that everything aligns really good. Okay, you can see the side bearings. You have to make sure that those are in, in the correct way. You have to make sure that both halves are extremely clean. This is because we will be apply, applying engine sealant. That's the silicone, engine silicone. And uh, if you don't do it right, you have leak, oil leak. And the only way to fix that is take all that apart again. And you don't want that to happen. So we are applying the engine sealant now. Uh, this, uh, this sealant has to be about uh, 2 to 2.5 two to 3.5 millimeters thick. Uh, and you need to go on the inside of the engine boat so you can see otherwise you will develop a leak. Once we are done I will show you how we applied ours. Okay, we are almost done with that now, as you can see, running towards the end now. Okay, this one you have to make sure that you come all the way to here. That's what the picture showed uh, in the menu. Okay, just to come like that and a little bit on this side maybe okay right here a little bit and that's what it should look like next we will lubricate all the main bearings because we will need to put the second half on top of it and we want to do that on the bottom one that half that we are doing now otherwise when we flip this one upside down it will leak out so we get the half now Okay, and we're ready to install it. You have to get it right from the first time, otherwise you're going to mess up the silicone. Okay, perfect. You can see it just like that. New bolts will need to be installed and do not lubricate them. Some people will lubricate them and that's very wrong. Okay, those bolts you do not lubricate. And we're going to show you okay, the torque sequence for those once we install all of them and just get them tied by hand until they're tied all the way. So we have the torque wrench here now with the socket. You can see you have to have the 12 point socket. First step uh, the manual says for uh, 20.3 to 23.1 foot pounds. That's what we have our set at 23. So we'll go ahead and show you the sequence now. It's very important once you hear the click to stop immediately. 
Okay, listen for that now. This is bolt number one. That we need to get tight. Okay, still needs more. Okay, right there, you can see. Now this is board number two. Okay, this is board number two. Now bolt number three is right there. Number four is, okay, this one here. Number five will be the one over there. Number six, we need to come back to this side. Okay, and number seven is the one all the way there. Number eight in this corner. Number nine will be the one. Over there. Okay, it will be any minute now. Okay, right there, and number 10, the last one on this side here, and then we have step number two that we need to do. Okay, almost there. Listen for that click now. Okay. Last one here. Okay, this is the last one. So the next step will be, unfortunately I won't be able to hold the camera and do that because two of us have to hold the book. We need to do 120 to or, uh, all the way to 125 degrees. So if you start here, you need to stop like about right there. That's what it needs to be, about 120 to 125 degrees. That's what the manual says for step number two. And you do exactly the same sequence as we did now. So we already did number one, okay. And now we're going to do number two. Okay, right there. This is number two, number three now. This is number three, number four. Okay, right there. Number five. Number six now. Seven would be right here. Eight. 
8 9 And the last one, number 10 So on the outside of the silicone, the sealant is still soft, we are going to clean it that way we don't have excessive amount later ok you can see so it can look real nice and clean so do that while it's soft so we install the lowercase bolts now and we we'll just get them tight by hand until they stop going and after that I'll share the torque specs and the sequence with you it's very important sequence again do not get them too tight now uh, for the torque specs according to the manual it says 13.7 to 17.4 uh, pound per pound feet so 13.7 to 17.4 uh, in newton meters that will be the same as 18.6 to 23.5 and we'll be using a smaller torque range here that's more precise and since the range is between 18.6 to 23.5 newton meters we'll use about somewhere in the middle about 21 Newton meters and that should be that should be pretty good. Now we'll be using an extension, so that will set our torque off a little bit. Uh, but that's fine. I mean, it's not of a great importance, even if it's just a little bit off because it's a big range that they gave us. So if we if we set it towards the higher end, that will be great. Ok, now we start with number 1 on the left side here of the oil filter. Yep, this one right there. And here the click now. Ok, this is it. Now number 2 is on the back side, right here, in the center. Perfect. Once it clicks you need to stop. Now number 3 is the one right there. Yep this one right here number four the one inside number five okay let's see number five is towards the back okay this one there perfect number six yep this one here And number seven now, all the way towards the back. Number eight will be this last one on this side. Okay, you have to be careful when it flips. Perfect. Okay, now number nine is all the way there. number 10 and now uh, number 11 is upside down on this side of the oil filter right there okay great so thank you guys for watching, uh, that will be the whole video, if you need help with anything let us know, make sure that the crankshaft turns freely, uh, please subscribe guys, give a like, uh, if you need help drop a comment, we will make a video for your problem and thank you for watching us.